It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up, we'll get a look at Ezekiel Elliott. It was a nice week for him last time out. A 107-yard game. It's the 49ers and the Chiefs next on Madden Football. Well, the onset of fall weather certainly a welcome occurrence for folks in Silicon Valley. And we've got football on a gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi's Stadium. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. Brandon Gordon alongside my good friend Charles Davis. And Charles, so often it's the quarterbacks that are in the spotlight, and in this game, no different. We have a very compelling matchup. We do indeed, and something I'm going to be watching for, who can get off to a fast start? If you can go out, get points on the first drive, preferably a touchdown, you can really set the tone for the game. And I think that both of these quarterbacks are more than capable of doing just that. one out the first drive will start at the 25 so here's the first drive now for the 49ers bringing him out is the pride of North Dakota State now in his seventh NFL season Carson Wentz and when you look at him you see that he's got all the tools you want in a quarterback the big frame the quick release strong arm has escape ability the issue sometimes tries to do too much instead of just taking the throws that are available to him and occasionally turnovers get him into trouble. Wentz to throw on the first play from scrimmage. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Wins first play going right to the air. Right side caught by Jackson. The numbers for Jackson in last week's game. Eight catches, 55 yards and a touchdown. And he's able to pull that last pass in, but this is usually a pretty tough unit to try and maneuver against. They're in the top 10 in the league against the pass, and you and I both know there's not much difference between 1 and 10. Throwing again on second down. Wentz. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. From the gun, it's Wentz. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's opening drive, third down. They go with a slant. It works. And I'm wondering when the league's going to figure it out because everyone throws it on third down. You expect pressure, so you want the ball in the hands of the quarterback quickly. It's a three-step route ordinarily, and you're throwing it where you see the receiver breaking towards you. So it's an inside route. Everyone likes it, and it's executed very well. Meanwhile, Wentz's throw brought in by Watson. And they're going to get this up to midfield. The Niners sitting at a very solid 4-2 record through the first six weeks. And they come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. And I thought that they played pretty well. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it, able to retain possession. That was big for them. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Now Wentz. 
And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They're led out by the southpaw to a tongue of Iloa in his third season now out of the University of Alabama. This is what this man was born for, the big spotlight on the national stage like this. Really, his entire career has demonstrated incredible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him, and you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident, and he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be second down. And here, Charles, is a look at the inactive, some of the guys that are out today due to injury. Yeah, and this is where the preseason work comes into play for some of those backups. It's not just them getting some experience on the field, but preparing each week in practice as if they were going to play. And when you have guys like that on your team, you've got a chance for success when the injury bug hits. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And it's knocked away and incomplete. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. Pulled in at the 24. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the Niners will go on offense. First and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Throwing his wins. It's caught by Jackson. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. First down carry by Elliott. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. From the 45 on second down, Wentz. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. That's evidence of why you spend a high draft pick on a receiver, isn't it, Charles? It certainly is. His ability to make plays like that, and we've seen flashes of it from him so far in his rookie season. But also, it opens things up for the rest of the offense because they have to bring their attention to him as well. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Now Wentz. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Throwing now is Wentz. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Boy, that one was well-read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. 
Alberto. He's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Let's take it in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they come in losers of two straight. And remember, they've got the open date on their calendar next weekend. But you think it's vitally important, Charles, that they focus on the task at hand here. Absolutely, because these players, they know what's coming up. And the difference between taking time off following a win versus doing so on a three-game losing streak, that's absolutely huge because they may come back if they lose this game to a facility, and there may be new faces in there and some teammates lost. And he'll get nothing out of that one. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it breaks up fourth down. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. It's taken to the 26. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a seven-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They fake the give. Now wins. Escaping the pressure. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Miles Garrett in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Even for a guy who many believe has become the standard in the league, Miles Garrett's 2021 was special. 16 sacks set a team record and were third in the NFL, and he made first team all pro to the surprise of no one. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Working from the gun, Wentz. Short little throw to Ebron. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Wentz now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. On second down, Elliott. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. To throw his wins. Eyes the crossing route and hits Watson. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Then we got to give a little tip of the cap for the defense there. Zone coverage, locked it in tight, made it really difficult because they tried the crossing route against it, and it worked for a completion. But you have to know where the sticks are on third down. Didn't get beyond them. No pickup. On fourth down, Michael Pilardi on to punt. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. KC's offense ready to take over. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. a six-year man, Austin Eckler. And he powers through the first lane, but he's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. On 
second and 11 now. Tua. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And third and eight now. From the gun, it's Tua. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. It's a 47-yard punt, return of six. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and ten as this new drive starts. Wentz now on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Now the pass finding its way into the hands of Eric Ebron. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. They'll come up now on second and a yard. That's Aguilar with it on the jet sweep. And oh, a little spin cycle. Room to run now. And he's tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First down, San Francisco. The pickup, 14 yards. I think the reason this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Wentz. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. The Niners on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. Here's Wentz to throw. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The kick by Elliott is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. And Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. A kind of a throwback weekend for our primetime games here in Week 7. Later tonight, a couple of the great AFC teams of the 70s do battle. The Steelers and Dolphins from Miami on Sunday night. And then tomorrow, Monday night football, Bears and Patriots from Foxborough. A rematch of Super Bowl 20. Bears won that one 46 to 10. But fear not for the Patriots, if I remember correctly. Well, they've won a few in the years following. To throw on second and 10, Tua. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Here's Tua. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. 
And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Pardon, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Here's Rigoberto Sanchez on to punt. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They've got the lead right now, and last week they were able to defeat the Atlanta Falcons here as they try to make it two victories in a row. To throw, it's Wentz. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Marcus Golden, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage, well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Draw play, Elliott. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Now Wentz on third down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Off of play action, tongue of Iloa. And this all incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. Out of the gun on third down, here's Tua. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And unable to connect, incomplete. They'll give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Nifty move. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. On first and 10, here's Wentz. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Up the middle, here's Elliott. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now wins. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 30. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. 
Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So first and 10 now from the 30. Inside give to Elliott. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. From the 27, Wentz. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. A third field goal in the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Now Wentz. It's caught by Aguilar. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 17-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Thank you all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now back to the ground with Elliott. Tackle made by Marcus Golden. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Wentz going to throw. This complete left side to Aguilar. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that will bring up third and one. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. What an excellent defensive stand. Kyle Shanahan doesn't care much for that last call, so out comes the red challenge flag. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. Second touchdown on the season. And the 49ers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. They took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. They fake the handoff, now Tua. He'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. On second down, Eckler. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. Just 
Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. And now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes, indeed, the red flag is out. The thing that they'll be looking at is the spot of the football. And, uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football. That's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. So the decision to throw the flag, a good one by Andy Reid. Two and now on first down. He gets it to Thomas. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Eckler now between the tackles. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That's a gain of 13 as they try to whittle away at this 13-point deficit. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Looking to pass to a over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. He'll find Smith-Schuster again. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Two are going to throw. And that would going to be off target and incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Under pressure, they got him again. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Field goal coming from Young Way Koo. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. Two knocks this one through the post, and they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13 to three. Well, that's something of a pick me up, and the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it, those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. Take it in at the three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Working from the gun, Wentz. And he will find his man on the outside. 
And they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, 49ers. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the 49ers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Elliott on for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Two and now on first down. On the screen, this is Eckler. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. To throw again on second down. Tua. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Again, they will throw it with Tunga Bailoa. Oh, this is going to be caught along the sidelines. Probably shouldn't have been caught. He's going to lose yardage there. Looking to throw again on second down. Tua. Oh, and this ball is tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Well, the way things have been going to this one, Charles, it was only a matter of time before this defense got involved and made a big play, and they do right there. Gosh, this lead is so large, CD, and we're only in the first half. Yeah, and I think that's the thing that's so amazing about it. You mentioned this large lead. How's this their first takeaway of the game? And what a spectacular one it was. Adding to the lead, showing the true dominance, and you're exactly right. We're still in the first half. Elliott Good with a PAT. And a route is on here in this first half. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. With a white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape as we look around the NFL here in week number seven.
Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats for KC in that first half. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Niners, they were much more successful throwing the football than their counterparts, as you can see the numbers there. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. No run back here for DuVernay. Touchback out to the 25. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. Buying time to his left. And connecting here with DJ Shark. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Up the middle with Eckler. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. It's Eckler again. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. On second and seven, Tua. And that is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Tua sets up to pass it. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. Running on first down, Eckler. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Now Tua. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Here's Tua. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Eckler again, pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. This defense continues to be good on third down. I mean, they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively. Are you saying, let's go for this, let's try to get it in the end zone? I don't know about that because of what you just described. They've been so good, and they don't give up the big play that you would expect in downs one through three. Why should fourth down be yeah, any different? True. You might want to go ahead and kick the field goal and see if you can figure out something else. Is and that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Juju Smith-Schuster from a yard out. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. But they tried to get two. 
and end up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go. The ball ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Well, they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead and now a chance to score here on three straight possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling, I just don't know how they get slowed down because they certainly are operating at peak efficiency right now. They might want to think about getting some of their backups a little bit of work, though. Let some other guys get on the field and do their thing and save some of this for the next time out. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands. And, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Marcus Golden able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Try to get it to Jackson, and it's intercepted. Picked by Logan Wilson, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the scoreboard. Instead, it's the defense who scores. And partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described, a defense that understood what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help. They just provided it. They're back in this one. No luck going for two last time, so they'll just kick the extra point here. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception. Navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing his wins. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. But well, looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Throwing again on second down. Wentz who finds his receiver, Watson. Watson. It's a game of four. Makes it third and 
Now Wentz on third down. And he's taken down. A chief sack. Marcus Golden. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen. But somehow, they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kansas City and Juju Smith-Schuster running out for another series. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once, but boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, make, you do. Makes you, get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On the give, this is Eckler. And he'll get this up past the 45 of the 47. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Offside. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. On first down, Tonga Vailoa. Open man completes it to Smith Schuster. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. A handoff, it's Eckler, and he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. The run only got a yard, here's second and nine. Here is Eckler, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. On play action, here's Tua. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now for the first and goal. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. 
Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Bryant. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. DJ Chark from three yards out. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So they fought half the battle here, but they're still down. Plenty of work still left for them, but they delivered in the first step in their comeback attempt. The Chiefs will set up for a two-point conversion. They'll try and run it up the middle, but he will not get in here. He stopped up short of the goal line, and this will remain a five-point game. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And the 49ers settling in for their next drive. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Say hello to Eric Kendricks. He gets the sack there. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. He's tackled as a 29-yard line and a run yard pickup. Wentz steps away to his left, and that is incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. It has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And now here comes Kansas City. And you sense the tide turning. They score. Defense forced the punt, and now it's the lead here late. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Going to the tongue of Iloa. Over the middle, complete. It's Thomas. Now Eckler, and he stopped immediately there. Back to throw here. He'll pass to Eckler, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. They call it a loss of a yard there, and that'll bring up fourth down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Niners set to take over on offense. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now wins. And he bats it away. Based on the play we just saw there, he might not. 
not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there, and on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing, in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Throwing on first is Wentz. He finds Aguilar over the middle. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Play action. Now wins. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now Wentz. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, Elliott. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Throwing now is Wentz. And Watson has it right side. So he stopped for no gain. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. They completed it all right and lost yardage. Running with Elliott. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Thought they might throw the football with a little chunk that they had remaining on fourth down, but they ran it. They got it. And the reason they were able to get it done, he ran that play with conviction, didn't he? Understood he would get a little bit of help from his friends up front, but it was really on him to go ahead and make the power move and get it done, and that he did. Into the red zone, wins. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. To throw again on second down, Wentz. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49 touchdown. Carson Wentz with his third touchdown of the game, number 15 on the year. And the Niners are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. And that's certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Elliott good on the extra point, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. And you figure after the last time, you know, they trail by two scores quarter. This drive becomes very critical. 
Two and now on first down. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Two are going to throw. They try to find Chart, but it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offensive coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. So after the INT, here's Wentz. Completes it to Aguilar. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Inside give to Elliott. And not much running room. Down to the 32. The chance of wasting this great starting field position. A real threat. This is third and long. To throw his win. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Jalen Thompson picks it. And the Niners are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. This, in all probability, another run here on eight. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And they've got it inside the 10 at the eight. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now Elliott. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second and goal from inside the five. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with career touchdown number 75. And the 49ers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we get to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. Elliott now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive, four plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Takes it at the seven. And able to get this out to the 25. And out come the Chiefs now. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He'll get this one to the Golden Domer, St. Brown. 
And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Oh, and two are going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Ronald Darby. Wow, between last week and this week, that's now eight interceptions. Five a week ago, now three here. But he Because he saw that happen during his coaching career, and he grabbed a quarterback in the midst of a stick. Tell you what, son, why don't you throw it to the defensive guys, and let's see if our receivers can intercept it. <laughs> well, he's got to figure something out, because the current formula is not working. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. The give is to Elliott. He will push his way down to about the 14. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. A 20th carry here for Elliott, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the 49ers, the win moves them up to 5-2 and two now on the year. And hit the road next week to take on the Los Angeles Rams. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, things are definitely going south quickly as they fall now to 1-6. And they'll get an extra week to think about it as the midseason buy might be coming at just the right time. Chief, I got me some.